start by playing some cook serve delicious three i want to say thank you to vertigo gaming incorporated and it's chief embrisario david galindo for sending us an early access code for that then for an hour or 90 minutes we're gonna play temtem it's a hot day of streaming following temtem kate and i will be live on her channel from 5 p.m pacific time till around 8 p.m i believe we're going to be doing some co-op cook serve delicious three That's like six hours of high-octane content today. Let me get Cook Serve Delicious booted up here. Sorry. I was eating the I was eating the protein bar. I literally... So here's how it worked. 1 p.m. Stepped out of... Uh, uh, not, uh, sorry, I've got my stories backwards. 1 p.m. Hey, I'm going to record an Isaac episode. Those usually take uh, 25 to 40 minutes. It took uh, 49 minutes, leaving me 11 minutes before the show. I showered... Got out of the shower at 157, ate a banana, ate a protein bar, and, and here I am. I don't want these Isaac runs to go so long. But when they leave you at 3.67 damage on the cathedral, what the hell are you supposed to do? Use your orbital? You're exactly right. Step one, we hit you with one of these. Hello, it's me. Step two, we hit you with one of these. You just gotta give it a sec. There you go, it's starting. Do you want to admire my sweater? Oh, oh, oh. Ask me where that I bought it from. I don't remember, but it says Eddie Bauer. Bought it online, bought it online four years ago. There was a streamer notice. The streamer notice. Oh, hello, Malf. Thank you. Spelunky God. The streamer noticed, the streamer noticed, the streamer noticed, the streamer noticed said there's more content coming in advance of the early access launch date. We're going to start a new day in Cook, Serve, Delicious. We're going to stay in Boise. We're on Simply Solids, I believe. Wait, no, we got a gold medal on that. We're on Harmonica, Fried Foods. Standard difficulty. So, the way that this works... We need to... You have some requirements. We need to get to seven foods today. And I think we need to be at... If we go back... I think we need a three-tier menu. Which means we need to have three... Uh... Tier 1 foods are higher, which is essentially foods that are just a little harder. Sorry, I got distracted because I'm also realizing you're not going to like me being in the position that I'm in right now in terms of uh, my camera placement. So what I'm going to do instead is in advance of chat exclusively filling up with people saying they can't see the order queue on the left side of the screen, I am going to put my camera over here. Just give it a moment. There it is. And then adjust this. It's not hard to adjust the camera position. The only thing that's hard is adjusting it in the middle of also trying to banter and play the game. If you do it first, there's no problem. Okay. So, I mean, obviously we gotta take bald eggs. We need three tier one foods, or I, we could do with one tier three food, but let's keep it a little bit simple, shall we? Let's keep it a little simpler than that. We'll put poutine on for Malf's, uh, to fulfill Malf's desires. Let's put on some prime rib, because I already know that. Churros are very easy. And then pupusas are pretty easy. Tonkatsu's pretty easy. I've got to put on something I've never made before. 
Wait, dude, is this, um, what's, what's Austin's favorite musician's name? You know the one I'm talking about. The, the guy who, he sings the songs where he goes, I'm really, really a piece of garbage. Bill Wirtz. Yeah, dude, is this Bill Wirtz? And you gotta admit, that sounded Wirtz-esque. Let's make some. I make you wanna lao lao in the kitchen on the floor. I don't know what you are, so let's make some fried seafoods. I will purchase you for three crumb coins. Oh no, you're such a hard food. My mistake. Let's make some. Uh, let's make some cookies, dude. Send them. I've already commented on this because I recorded uh, a Northern Lion tries of this, but. Yo, there is, uh, he put so much Korean food in the game. Kate, if you're watching, David took your advice under advisement. There's japchae, there's buda kimchi, there's, uh, yeah, I mean, there's other Korean dishes as well. But anyway, let's just get started here. Bless the, the, the third David. David Miyazaki, the developer of Dark Souls. David Cage. The developer of uh, Detroit Become Human. David Cook Serve Delicious. And then, of course, Emperor David. David, my, my manager and publicist. Hey, D-Mart. Right, okay, get ready. I won't be able to look at chat too much during this, okay? So, step one. You open up the menu. We're going to need ten churros. We're going to make some churros. One, two, three, four. Dunk. Send it. F2. We're gonna need a few boiled eggs. Why don't you go ahead and make some boiled poach? Somebody wants some cookies. Dark chocolate chip. Not a problem. See you in the oven. What's coming up next? We need some poutines. You're gonna get some french fries dunked. And then uh, some prime ribs, of course. You get your prime rib, you get your sauce, you get your seasoning, you put it in there. Why don't you go ahead and serve that cookie? We're looking up for some peanut butter cookies. Go ahead and send it. We're looking for some candy cookies. Absolutely. And now we can just chill because we're so fast. What do you want to... Oh, we got the camera away on the right side, too. I didn't even notice. You know what? That's where you hit the escape button. And I think, to be honest... I could probably put myself down here. <clears throat> How's that? Oh, send the cookies. I forgot to send the cookies. We want dough, flattened pork fold. Send it, dude. Okay. Now, all the workers who submitted their orders in advance, send them. Send them. Now, the poutines, they need a little GC. Every time you send them out, they need a little GC. Every time you send them out, you need a little GC. Seven needs a GC. Six needs a PS. PS, enjoy your meal. Seven needs a PS. One, you're good to go. Three, you're good to go. Six needs a little GC. Uh, two, we need to dunk some more churros. That's my mistake. Four is on fire. I apologize for that. One, we're going to need a little PS. Sorry, somebody has become irritated with us, and it was, to be honest with you, Deservedly so. I didn't mean to do that. That's my mistake. Okay, seven. You need a little GC. Three. You need a, a single made churro. I apologize for having to do that. We've gotten a little bit lost in the sauce here early as is. A little PS on the prime rib. A little GC on the poutine. Uh, what else? We need some more churros. Why don't you go ahead and make those? And then uh, boiled eggs. All right. We're making we're making these all bespoke, and I, I shouldn't be doing that. It's a bad habit. PS. Enjoy your prime rib. PS. Enjoy your prime rib. Send those churros out there. We need some more churros. Go ahead and dunk that one. A prime rib needs to be made right now. Uh, go ahead and hit the F2 button. Prime rib. Put that son of a gun in the roaster. Send those out there. Okay. Okay. Look, that that could have gone a lot better. It didn't start great, but. Uh, it didn't go too badly. Get that churro out there. Prime rib is, is soon to be ready to go, but he's not too happy. Please dump that poutine from the second spot. And P.S. Enjoy your meal. Okay, here we go. We get started. We need some more poutines. We're going to do better on day two, okay? F3, we're going to put some... Uh, oh, we need a lot of churros. Give me a lot of churros there, and let's be balanced here. Some boiled and poached eggs. Thank you. Somebody wants tonkatsu. That's a PB. Two. We're going to get a sugar cookie. Easiest money ever made. Dough. Flatten, pork fold, problem solved. Dough, flatten, pork fold, problem solved. Dough, flatten, chicken fold. Threw me for a little bit of a loop there. Chocolate chip cookie, there you go. Chocolate chip cookie, there you go. Not a very, well. Oh, oh, pulled pork. That's my tonkatsu uh, recipe. Pulled pork helps you remember because you have to type P-U-L-T to serve it. Send them, send them. 
GC on the poutine. Prime rib, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Prime rib, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Quick little send. Poutine, GC. 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 Prime rib, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Send them. Hit me with the number four. P.S. Enjoy your meal. I'm gonna be honest with you. We need to make some churros immediately. Otherwise, people are gonna be very upset. Sure, go ahead and poach some eggs. 6 PS, enjoy your meal. 7 GC. Okay, okay, baby. Baby, we're cooking. Number 6, we need some prime ribs. Let's get those going in the holding station. Like we're the captain of the Rasa Nante. Send them, send them. We need some more boiled eggs. Hit me with the F4. Boil and poach them, please. There you go, send them. Number four is gonna need a GC. Number two is gonna need a GC. Number three is gonna need a GC. Number four, we don't have any extra poutine for you. I apologize, we're just making a fresh batch of fries. You're gonna be fine, just wait it out for a brief moment. Number six, PS. Send them. Number two, PS, enjoy your meal. Number five, PS, enjoy your meal. Number six, PS, enjoy your meal. Number seven, PS, enjoy your meal. Send out those churros. Poutine's almost done. Number one, PS, enjoy your meal. Churros need to be made. This is not what we want. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Churros need to be made. D, C, 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 send. Good stuff. Poutine needs to go out there. Poutine needs to go out there. Poutine needs to go out there. Prime rib. That's a PS. Then you go F4, prime rib. PAS, get that prime rib going. Everything's in the cooker. Just kill, uh, just chill out. Just chill out. Churros are being made, okay? Boiled eggs, I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna make those bespoke for you. We don't have any in the cooker ready to go. We're gonna immediately need some more boiled eggs. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we're gonna need some more churros as well. Why don't you go ahead and give you some of those. And uh, prime rib, P.S. Enjoy your meal, P.S. Enjoy your meal. GC, grease coming, poutine's ready to go. Number four, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Number five, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Get those boiled eggs out there. And we got like two seconds till churros are coming. Look at that. <laughs> not a problem. All right, the poutine's not looking too fresh anymore. Let's get that in there. 80 times delicious combo, you love to see it. Poutine wasn't looking so fresh, what do you want? Oatmeal cookie? All right, Grandpa. Uh, PD on the tonkatsu? PD on the tonkatsu. Papooses, dough, flatten, cheese, fold. Got it. Cookies are sent, number five. Candy cookie? A for candy, that's a pulled pork, P-U-L-T. P-U-L-T spam in the chat, please. Let me get a number six, what do you want? Dough, flatten, beans, and fold. Ooh, how interesting. Why don't you go ahead and send that out there? Number seven, special order. Dough, flatten, cheese, and fold. Let's go, send them. Send them, what do we need? GC, GC. Send them. Number four, PS, enjoy your meal. Number five, PS, enjoy your meal. One, GC, two, GC. Send them. We need some more boiled eggs, please. Can I get a BP on this one? Prime rib for you? We need some more prime rib being cooked immediately that's a pas get ready we need some more poutines gc for you sir and a gc for you sir boiled eggs are almost done poutines on the ready gc we're gonna need some more churros at any given moment send it send it prime rib two seconds to go until we got some prime rib gc whoops my mistake wait what's going on here okay my mistake ps enjoy your meal ps enjoy your meal ps enjoy your meal ps enjoy your meal you want some boiled eggs? Okay, I understand your concerns. Um, number five, give me with a GC. We need some poutine to be made at the ready. What's 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 slipping here? Churros. Churros are getting served. Churros are getting served. Prime rib, little PS. PS, we need some more prime rib to be cooked at the ready. PAS on that one. Boiled eggs are good to go. Send them. Boiled eggs are slipping. No, 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 they're not slipping. Good to go. Poutine's gotta go. A little GC for you. <laughs> oh, we've done it. Number four, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Number five, P.S. Enjoy your meal. Boiled eggs, send them. Now, and sadly, that's only a silver medal. Because we got an order wrong on the first day. Good job today. Keep it up tomorrow. We had two angry people on day one. Who orders prime rib from a food truck? P.A.S. P.S. Enjoy your meal. If you miss any orders, or people get angry at you, you get a gold. Or sorry, you get a, you cannot get a gold is what I mean to say. Mind explaining what the game's about? Orders come in. Oh, you, you can get it from watching it, okay? 
All you need to know is that there's two different kinds of orders. Orders that come in on the left are special orders, a la carte. At the top, that's where you make stuff to prepare. People have ordered it in advance. And then when you get to the stop, you send them. You send them. You cook, then you serve, and it's usually delicious. The World Tour. When can I get the game? It comes out January 29th in Early Access. Go type in Cook Serve Delicious 3 on Steam. Put it in your wish list if you want to see it. Be notified of when it comes out. Five foods are required today. And they need to be slightly foreign foods. Uh, falafel, so easy to make. Let's let's throw a little fried fish on top of this as well. I'll buy that. I'll buy the fried fish. Should have put it on the menu. Okay, special orders. To be honest, let's get a little zrazy today. <laughs> no, let's let's make some samosas. I've never done the samosas before. And then because those are a tier 2 food, Let's let's take two tier one foods to make our life a little bit easy here. So I've never made the Lao Lao's. I honestly I don't know what they are, but it looks like perhaps like a uh, a, a food wrapped in grape or spinach leaves. It's a dumpling made with lettuce. Okay, and then we'll put onigiri on here too. I have to imagine onigiri is basically just. Cook rice and then like seaweed rice and whatever toppings they want. The samosas, the samosas have kind of got me though. Yeah, we'll, we'll make some Jessica's. Okay. It's a Hawaiian food. Oh, okay. My mistake. All right, let's get moving. I'm ready. My brain had a chance to cool off. Let's do this. F1, what do we want the most of? Most falafel. We only have two holding station foods, so... It's pretty easy. I think we want three falafels. Okay, rice ball. Imprint. Stuffing. Shape. Nori. There's a Jessica waiting to happen. Okay, fried fish. Two cods and two fish. <laughs> okay, two sets of banana leaves on the table. Then the seasoned meat. Wrap and cook. Okay, samosas. Cheese. One, two, th Oh, they're already made for us! Let's go! We don't have to- we don't have to make our own samosas. You love to see it. Send it. Next stop approaching. We already made the samosas during prep time. Okay, this is- get ready for the pure dopamine. Sorry, samosas, what do you want? See red? <laughs> see? There you go, there you go. Send them! Sorry, okay, add rice ball, imprint, stuffing, shape, nori, okay? Send them? Send them! Oh my god, send them. Okay, we need so much more falafel. I keep hitting A to make falafel. We need fried fish, get some fried fish in the cooker! You donkey! I should have looked at what we needed. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Sorry, the fish is coming. Easy send. Honestly, I feel like I should just make you your falafel and save the rest of the stuff in the prep station. That's right, we're using strategy. Look at that. Day one, that's a, that's a perfect 10 right there. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm excited nonetheless. <laughs> Some of our food might go bad, though. Because it, if it stays in the holding station too long, it goes bad. L-L-M-W. Okay. We're gonna... Okay, hold on one second. One sweet potato samosa. And then six L-L-M-W. Please give me some sends. Whoops, I think I boxed one up. I shouldn't have boxed up yet. Go ahead and kick that F- No, F3 is gonna last. F3 is gonna last, brother. What do you need? What do you need? C-white? C-white. Got it, got it, got it. 
That's chutney. I'm assuming the C stands for chutney. Send them. Give me some fish orders, please. Send them. They don't have to know that it was made at our previous stop. Okay, we need one of everything. Give me some fish, please. Uh, four fish. Beautiful. Easy order. Then give me some more falafels. Then give me some more fish. Four cod. Look at that. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Uh, you know what? Give me some more falafel. We still got a lot coming. Oh, the sad, the dopamine. Four fish. Give me some real falafels, quick. The cascading sound, dude. It's so beautiful. Oh, send it. Oh, send it. You want some more fish? Okay, here's some more fish coming your way. Four cods. Hope you like cod. Hello, Bear Taffy. I saw you playing this earlier today. I meant I actually had like a preamble in mind in my head earlier today. I was like, if you watch Bear Taffy play this, I'm not trying to sandbag. I think Bear is better than me at Cook, Serve, Delicious. Do not expect such high level plays from me, but I'm no slouch. He is the, the master of playing Cook, Serve, Delicious while talking about it. I'm just an apprentice, but we're getting there. We got one strike? I'm like the CEO of getting one order wrong every single time. Rice, imprint, stuffing, shape, nori. Do it. Rice, imprint, stuffing, shape, nori. I gotta come up with a good acronym for that one. C red. Red chutney for you. Special order. R I S. It's Rishin. Look at that. Oh, baby, I love it. We're gonna need some more falafel ASAP. We're gonna need some more fish ASAP. Four fish, that's what you love to see. Send it. <laughs> We're gonna need some more falafel ASAP. We're gonna need some more fish ASAP. Oh, baby. You know what? We're gonna need some more falafel ASAP. It's resin. <laughs> oh, it's it's resin to be this good. Some fish. Dude, I'm telling you, this soundtrack is inspired by by William Wurtz. Days complete. That's all, I can live with the I can live with the silver on that one. One, one mat order, and I have been, I have been banished from the top ten restaurants on Yelp. <laughs> Good work, chef. Thank you. Thank you. You don't get it, it's my favorite part of Hell's Kitchen is when there's like four chefs left, and then. Gordon Ramsay tries to trick them by doing some inane nonsense. Like, uh, it'll be like a, a chicken dish, and he'll put like Cornish game hen in it instead, and then ask them to sample it, and they're like, it's good to go. And then he's like, is it good to go? Why don't you give it one more taste, you donkey? And then he's like, ah, shit, that's Cornish game hen. He's like, get it together! What does he say? I forget what he always, he has the same quote every time. You, someone in chat's gonna say it. He does say, fuck you, get out. And piss off. We're shutting it down! <laughs> Gurn, pap, salad. Pizza, slur. Yo, we got some tough dishes today. Um, let's take muffins. What have I done? Oh, it's practice. Okay. Um, let's purchase muffins. Let's purchase French toast. And then roll one slightly harder dish. Pizza Sliss is a little bit too high for me. Um, let's, let's throw in some spaghetti. 
Then, special orders, yo, Buddha kimchi, easy enough. Yo, they put bubble tea in the game, Kate's gonna lose her freaking mind, dude. Let's put some boba in there, I don't like it, but lots of people do. And then, honestly, it's a fairly tough menu today, why don't you just hit me with some crab legs, which I've never made before, but let's do it. I believe they have taken out chores. I, I've not had any other... Hello, I've never had to Good do a chore today. in this game. So far. Okay, muffins. Paper liner, chocolate. Easy. Muffins. No, no, no. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Meatballs. Perfect. That's how you do it. French toast. Eight French toasts. <laughs> Let's just make some more muffins to go along with it. Blueberry is L. Do not get it twisted. Crab legs and lemons. Sorted. Halfway. I'm ready. Give me some more special orders. Crab legs, lemons. Easy. It's a great food truck. Send them, dude. Hello, chef. Crab legs, lemons. If you don't want lemons on your crab legs, don't order from me. Because I'm hitting CL every time. CL! Crab legs, crab lemon. It's the perfect combination. Okay, get ready. Do we have to serve and plate the spaghetti? I don't know. Four, CL. Send them. Okay, send. Oh, You don't have to plate the muffins. French toast you do. Powdered sugar, maple syrup, butter. Uh, that's a number five. S. M U. Okay, got it. S M U. St. Mary's University. St. Mary's University. Spaghetti, meatballs, a parmesan. Uh, seven. S M. No, oh, no. Two French toast. My mistake. Send them. Um, number three. We're gonna need spaghetti, meatballs, and parmesan. Number six. We're gonna need S M R. Number two, please. Two French toast. Number one, please. Two French toast. We're gonna. We're making a lot of special orders today. I apologize for that. SMU, St. Mary's University. Okay, give me an F1. We need some more French toast, but I think they're being cooked at the present moment. Might as well get them ready, though. We learned a very valuable lesson. That's an SMU. It's an SMU. Okay. That was a tough one. I gotta admit, that day started pretty tough. We need some more muffins now. Paper liner. Blueberry. Sorry, I got lost in the sauce. Buddha kimchi. It's a KMP kimchi. KMP kimchi. Got it. Okay. We're going to get rid of those muffins on F4. We're going to make a new batch. Okay. New batch of muffins. Paper liner. Banana. Banana for A, of course. CL for crab legs. Send them. CL for crab legs. Got them. Send them. Okay. What do we need? Spaghetti's almost done. Let's make a new order of spaghetti. But first, CL for crab legs. Give me an F2 spaghetti, please. That's going to be a spaghetti and meatballs. And then we got a, a KMP. Send them. Everything's good, everything's okay, and then a CL for crab legs. Let's go. Great work. Great work, team. Send them. We're sending orders. We have no spaghetti and meatballs, but they're in production as we speak. Buddha kimchi is good to go. Um, French toast, you're going to need uh, SMU, St. Mary's University. Two, SMU. Three, SMU. Send those muffins out there. Spaghetti's almost done. That's an SMU situation. And then we immediately need to make more French toast. Give me eight of those on the cooker, please. And then a one, that's an SMR. And then a three, ASMR. And then a four. ASMR, and then a 5 SMR. Apologize, number 7, you are on fire. That's my mistake. My perfect day has been ruined. SMU, 2's good. 1, you're going to need an ASMR. 3, St. Mary's. 4, St. Mary's. 6, I'm going to make you some St. Mary's. 5, uh, you got two French toasts on the cooker. I apologize, I got my orders a little bit messed up. That's an ASMR for you. We're making all French toasts fresh to order now. Uh, we need to make some spaghetti immediately. It's being made. It's being made! Seven, you're good to go. Three, you're good to go. Two, you need an SMU. Everybody knows that. We need some muffins to be made immediately. What kind of person, what kind of mad lad would stand at a food truck waiting for muffins to be cooked? That's all I have to say about that. Okay, everything's going fine here. Let's make some more muffins. Uh, that's a ASMR. ASMR. Send them. ASMR. ASMR. We got, we got work to be done, okay? I apologize. Um, French toast needs to be made. Okay, don't don't let it get you down. That's a KMP kimchi. Oh, it's a, my first boba tea. Boba, ice, Thai. Thai is H. Okay, seal. Oh, okay. I, th I, I thought it was a meat at first. CL for crab's legs. Go. 
St. Mary's. St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Oh, I served raw crab legs. We're going out of business, boys. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. ASMR. Send them, please. Uh, two French toasts coming your way, sir. Two French toasts coming your way. And then that's an ASMR. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I, could I offer you some free, some free muffins, please? I apologize. We have six muffins left over. If, I will give them to you if you choose not to sue me. Oh, we got one more day. We got one more day. That's my mistake. I didn't realize we got a chance to redeem ourselves. You come out here. Is this cooked? No, chef. Okay, we're going to need to make some more muffins. Because our, our muffin batch is, is inhospitable. It cannot be served to a human being right now. Boba. Ice. Blueberry. Seal. Got it. Send that out there. We need an F3 on this one. What are we missing? Oh, we need... Uh, French toast is cooking right now. No, it's not. We need we need some more French toast for sure. Ready? We're nearly there. KMP kimchi. You want a bubble tea, boba, ice, honeydew, seal. Gotcha. Crab legs. I love the crab legs, dude. A little, a little CL. Oh, okay. St. Mary's? ASMR. St. Mary's? Uh, SMR. 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 Uh, St. Mary's? St. Mary's. And then immediately we need some more French toasts coming right up. Uh, okay, spaghetti! Oh, the crab legs! Send them. Uh, what's, what's dipping? You're dipping. You're dipping. Malware bites, get off the screen. We need spaghetti immediately. It's, it, they brought us back. Send them, please. Spaghetti's being cooked. Send those muffins out there. French toast? French toast? Okay. We need more muffins. Stat. I thought that said bean muffins. This should be good. We should be okay. Fell behind a little bit. Life goes on. ASMR. 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 Muffins are almost good to go. Could be worse. I'll take the silver there. I think we screwed... Uh, one dish was also on fire. <laughs> so I think we had two or three bad orders today. Okay. Two. It's fine. Not a bad day. Was I pogged out of my head? Was I pogged out of my mind? How can I have ever been so lion blind? I like it. <laughs> I was waiting for a prime subscription. They were hard to find. Ooh, wow. Ah, ah. You needed the... We needed to chop and screw it a little bit at the end. BYOBBQ. Just looking. Brother, let me tell you, it's tier three. But I love a dosa. Put that in there. That's probably gonna ruin me, but let's give it a shot. On top of that, I am goring. Very easy to make. You know what? We already got prime rib in the muscle memory. Here's one that threw me for a loop, okay? Are people really going to, uh, like, a, a place of business and ordering, uh, ham slices? <laughs> or there's a, there's turkey slices as well. I have never seen it. Like, yeah, t just ordering, like, slices of turkey deli meat. I have done it. This is an honest question. Where do you live? Because I've never, I've never heard of this. Yakitomo? <laughs> it is it is fried tomo tomorokoshi let's put it up there grilled tomo sorry my mistake okay special orders honestly i really like the the, the tonkatsu is pretty easy to make and let's throw one more new thing into the mix here gazpacho let me explain something to you when you're expecting cold gazpacho soup and it's room temperature your mouth is gonna feel like it's on fire
food truck lobster. Let's 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 try some curry here. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. We got a lot of new foods today. Only good part of that skit. He can make the he can hit the high C all night long. With with the tuck tuck sound. Okay, let's get started on something new. Dosas, please. Four dosa batter. Uh, I am goring. Very simple to make. What about the yakitomo? Four corns. And then prime rib is just PAS. Pass the rib, please. Uh, that's a PD donk. PD donk and then a pulled pork. Let's go. Um, water, rice, seasoning, lid, garlic, chili, onions, chicken. I'm going to assume they're not going to ask me to to go through bespoke orders on the first try. So let's just get the muscle memory. Let's just hit the, the buttons as they show up. The only thing I can think of is that somebody might not want chicken. But nobody's gonna be like, hey, can you make my curry without garlic, please? That person can get out. Okay, now it's getting spiced, get ready. Okay, you need corn, soy sauce, butter. You need a PS, dose is a tough one. D, mint coriander, M, potato. Potato, got it. One, PS, three, PS. Please serves, fives, dosa, onion. N, potato. P, got it, one, PS. Two, PS, three, send it. Send it. Um, six, we're gonna need a dosa, an onion, and a vada. Thank you for being what you should be. The right letters. Chili, chili, chili's H. Chicken, K, got it. Give me a one, corn, soy sauce, butter. Give me a three, corn, soy sauce, butter. I did it wrong, but that's okay, PS, pass it, dosa. One dosa coming right up, sir. Let's go. <laughs> All right, all right, give me some prime ribs going here. Give me some uh, dosas. Look, I, d I might not be calling people what they want to be called. I also have not looked at anybody's face in this entire game. I am looking at the, the orders exclusively the entire time. I apologize. I'm not calling them sir because of how they're presenting themselves. I'm calling them sir because they're the captain of the ship that is their order. It's a it's a sign of respect. Pulse. Pulse. Ready for the next stop? R S L G H N K. Got it. S L G H N K. Got it. Send them. That's a pulse. Send them. We need a seven immediately. This is the... Takes so freaking long to make the custom curries for everybody. P.S. Okay. Send it. P.S. Send it. P.S. P.S. Uh, D.N.V. Do not visit other stores because I'll treat you better. Send them, please. D. Coconut. Coconut. It's O. Okay. P. Got it. P.S. R.S.U. Send them. Give me a five, RSU. That's a six PS, please. Four. Sorry, we're gonna need to cook this one a la carte. That's my mistake. Give me a seven. We're gonna need to cook it a la carte. That's my mistake. Give me a five. We're gonna need to cook that a la carte. That's my mistake. I'm sorry about this one as well with the corn. Hold on a second. D O M, I'm assuming. Three. D H B. The spirit molecule. We need some prime ribs. Stat. That's tough. Give me a two, real quick. Please send out some orders. Dosa batter. Get it going. Uh, six, this is an RSU. Four. We really shouldn't be making these. Make some doses, dude. D O M. Hold on. Six. Six. We're making we're making the mallet card. Sorry, it's been a busy day. I really apologize for this. It's been a busy day. I got a I got slightly overwhelmed, but I think we pulled it back. Go ahead and make me many doses, please. This is a D O K. This is a D T M. Send the chicken out there. Give me a D N V. Give me a D O B. 
Give me a D H B and give me a D N M. Okay. <laughs> you actually thought you were slick. What do we need today? We don't have any fried chicken being cooked. PD Donk. Let's go, dude. Let's go. PD Donk. Get ready. Get ready. We're running out of dozes. Dozes are going to be one of the fastest things we got to get out here. D-O-K. Do I see another dosa? I do. So we're going to do D-O-B. And then very quickly, we are going to go F3. We're going to make more dosas. Good stuff. P-U-L-T. P-U-L-T. P-S. R-S-U. 7. P-S. Enjoy your meal. 2. R-S-U. 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 2. 3. P-S. Enjoy your meal. P.S. Enjoy your meal. Now make some more prime rib. And we need some more dosa. Sorry, we got to make these corns. Ah, I, I, I didn't have the corn ready to go. I apologize for that one. I apologize for that one. We should have had the corn ready to go. But if you just wait mere moments from this point onwards, you'll be ready to go. Perfect stop. Do me a favor. Scrap the dosa and make me some corn. We're gonna need it in advance here. PD Donk. I hope. No, the fried chicken is not gonna make it, so let's make some more. It was about to go bad. Send it. Oh, pulled pork. You love to see it. Chad, if you haven't seen this game, you might not realize it, but NL's really good at it. <laughs> I have been playing Cook your, uh, Serve Delicious. I was going to say Cook Your Enthusiasm. I have played uh, Cook Serve Delicious on and off for like eight years. Hold on, this is a very intense moment of focus. I'm still not very good at it, but like, I can I can hang. Let's put it that way. P.S. Enjoy your meal. Sorry, gotta put some corn. Gotta put some corn on the grill. That's my mistake. P.S. 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 Enjoy your meal. Go ahead, put that corn on there. Uh, we only have one dosa left, so give me an F3, and we're making some more dosa batter. Freaking stat, dude. Dosa mint coriander mutton. Gotcha. Six, you're good to go. One, give me with the RSU. Two PS, enjoy your meal. Five, enjoy your corn. No! Did I screw one? I don't think so. I think I think they were actually so excited, I thought that they were on fire. But that's not the case. Nine orders remaining. What do we need? More, uh, more prime rib. D-M-M. Four. D-N-K. Seven. D-O-P. That was close. Uh, five. Oh! Oh, we were microseconds away from getting the negative review on that one. We kept it together at the end. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Hold on. I'm going to go get some more water. I talk a lot when I play this. One moment, please. Turns. Imagine how much we could have served if you weren't dehydrated. It's true. In Moneyball, there's a poster. 
on the wall and it says a dehydrated muscle has 17% less contraction power. Never stop me though. We need a five point menu. I'll tell you, eggs, bald eggs always go on the list. As long as mouth here, mouth is here, I should say, poutine goes on the list. Prime rib is going on the list. Tonkatsu is going on the list. You know why? We want to stack up a second perfect day. Let's put some curry on the list as well. We're gonna we're just gonna go straight for. We'll put one new thing on the list, but we're gonna go for a good day today. Tier five. Was there a tier five? I see some tier fours. I don't see a tier five. It's the very last one. WD pork. Oh, it's a wok dish. Let's let's practice it once and then see how it goes. Okay, sweet and sour and pork. Sweet Mongolian pork. Honey glaze. Beef. Beef sauce. Pork. How do you serve it? Oh, I see. It's just got a lot of options. That's not that bad. They are sending us a lot of a lot of orders, but yeah, let's buy it and toss it on there. This will be a nightmare. In the uh, in the heat of the moment, but we'll try it for now because everything else is pretty easy. I predict we will be flooded, but like that's easy. Prime rib is very easy because the orders are always the same. Boiled eggs are easy. What do we need the most of today? We need some more boiled eggs. Imagine going to a food truck to buy a single boiled egg. <laughs> Alright, we're getting started early here. The salt just tastes different there. Broccoli sauce. Take your time. Broccoli sauce, beef, zucchini. That's a Z. That's, that's very convenient. And then this dish is very simple because it's the same. I do hate that we have to make a new curry for every single person, but it's okay. Hate is a strong word there. I would never make a single serve curry though. It's a lot of a lot of chopping just to make a one-time meal that could easily be stretched into multiple meals. Soy sauce. That's an O. That's a tricky one. Broccoli's a B. Okay. Go ahead and send some out here. That's a PD dunk. That's a PS. That's a PS. That's a GC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GC. Seven is a GC. Send them. PS. GC. PS. 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 Send them. Five is a GC. Four is a pulled pork. You're good to go. Okay. What do we need next? We're going to need more. Uh, we're going to need more everything, but boiled eggs are a big one for sure. Go ahead and heat that prime rib and make uh, some more boiled eggs. PD donk, okay. Beef sauce is an F and then a B. And then we're gonna yeet this poutine as well with the PD donk preceding it. We're gonna yeet those boiled eggs at the back as well and go ahead, we're gonna need some poutine for certain and we're gonna need some uh, prime rib for certain. Two needs a pult. One needs a broccoli sauce, which is R, B, Z, pult. Sesame sauce, not an S. Very scary. PD donk. Oh, this is this is spicy. Send them. We need a curry real quick and a send. The only problem with curry is that it takes a little bit of time. Sesame sauce is a E, P, and then a green pepper. Send them. P A S. Three is a G C. One is a G C. Five is a pult. Send some meals out there. P S. Send them. As a GC, one is a PS, three is a SEN, SEN, four, PS, one, uh, GC. Boiled eggs need to be made right now. Good stuff. Prime rib needs to be made right now. No, it doesn't. That's my mistake. Six, PS, three, GC, two, GC, seven, GC, seven, GC. How did we had one more poutine, thank God, PS. Okay, we gotta make more poutine immediately. Immediately. We need more boiled eggs immediately. 
Get those prime ribs out of here. We don't need them. We need the station to boil a couple more eggs. GC. GC. PS. PS. <laughs> Send them. I should just make yours special, to be honest. Okay, here you go. Good work, good work. Amazing work, chef. That was your best yet. What do we need next? Oops. One prime rib? That's it? Or do we not know yet? Maybe that's the thing. Spicy sauce, pork. Nothing's gonna go bad before we get there, because we're getting there in two seconds. Oh, send them. Five. GC. One. PS. Two. Uh, soy sauce, which is O. P. C for celery? Let's go. You love to see it. Send that bolt out there. Uh, give me a 6 PS. Give me a 5 PS. No! Give me a 4 PS. Give me a 1. Give me a 7 PS. I don't think I screwed it up. PS. PS. Poutine. That's a GC. 6. That's a GC. Let's go. Still going. Oh, we got a long way to go before our next one, too. Spicy sauce is a S with a P. Okay. Eat that poutine. It doesn't need to be there. It's not, it's not going to be good by the time we arrive. Making a curry in advance, you love to see it. Perfect time for a curry order to come in. Sweet and sour, which is a W, P. Green beans, which are an E. Honey glaze is Y with a pork attached. Give me an F4. What do we need? Many more eggs. You love to see it. That's a PD donk. Is everything going to make it? Soy sauce. Oh, Almost pork. There. Broccoli. Mongolian sauce and pork. Everything's gonna make it. Okay. I think we're in a great spot. Get this out there right off the bat. Seven is a PS. One is a GC. Send them. Three is a PS. Five needs to be handled. Scallions are a C. Got it? Got it? Give me a GC. Then on number six, why don't you go ahead and give me a broccoli sauce, pork, and mushrooms, which are M, thankfully. It's a three, GC, four, GC, five, GC, one, PS, seven, GC, two, GC, send them, six, PS. We need many more boiled eggs. We need more poutine in the cooker. You need a PS. Eggs are, are en route, brother, no fear. More poutine, more eggs. Not a problem. Four. GC. Five. GC. Good day. Very good day. <clears throat> yeah, Malf, are you gonna play this so you can go, Mmm, so good and tasty. It's the perfect game for an mmm, so good and tasty. People love the boiled eggs. It's absolutely true. I guess, do these only... Oh, no. I see. We did 106 tier 1 orders. So that made up two... Well, hold on. That made up... Like, we made $205. But I'm trying to figure out how the math adds up here. Because we got $106 here and $45 here. So wait, where did the extra 50 bucks come from? Probably a bonus for not getting any negatives, I guess. But just the stir-fries made up like one-third. Or tips, that makes sense. Just the stir-fry made up for one-third of our revenue. Despite only being like one-sixth of our menu. Good to know. Sharp cheddar, two stops, big distances. Spend some monies. We gotta reach yum, yum rank five first. We haven't reached yum rank five. <laughs> NL, did you play the Bloodborne DLC? You know it. Ooh. Just hits different. I did, I did play the Bloodborne DLC. I beat the Bloodborne DLC. 
Let's try something new. Like, throw some chicken strips in here. Throw a garden salad in here. Now let's do some stuff I've never seen before. What the heck is Kima? Of course we gotta try to make Dango. Hanami Dango is a seasonal variation of Hanami. Welcome. The music is so good. Sure, I'll make some tabbouleh. I think it might be pronounced tabula. I'm telling you. In Canada, we say tabbouleh. Yo, I've, I've been meaning to try some Heimul Pajan. This is like a Korean seafood pancake. Scroll up, please. It, it cannot be done. I guess we'll be taking meals from the bottom here. This is likely to be my own mouse's problem, to be fair. Sure, we'll make a freaking Kringle, whatever the heck that is. And uh, a fruit slip. Let's do it. This is a tier 8 menu, but... Shake out the glycogen, shake out the lactic acid, I'm ready to go. Hello, chef. Good luck today. <clears throat> How long we got? 1.6 miles. We're getting started. Oh my god. Let it. Let true. Dango. Green dango, white dango, pink dango. Oh, it's starting hot, dude. Nut filling. I didn't roll it at all. Get me started. Started badly. I didn't read the instructions because I, I let myself get too lost in the sock. In the sauce, not in the sock. Let true. Dango. Dough, nut filling, roll shape. There you go. Hamul hey, Pajon. Batter, calamari, mussels, squid, red jalapeno, scallions, but no shrimp. That's going to be tough. Calamari, mussels, squid, jalapeno, scallions, but no shrimp. I know, I know, it's hot. Ready? No, no, not ready. This one's bad. This one's going nowhere in a, in a, a loaded god complex cock it and pull it. I've prepared like no food. Batter, calamari, mussels, squid, jalapeno, scallion shrimp. Send them! DNRS, got it. We gotta, we gotta get some dango out here. Get those salads out there. Okay, we green salads are easy. That's just, you type latru and you got them ready to go. That's, that's beautiful stuff. Sorry, sorry, send the icing! Ah, we gotta make the bule! Bulgur wheat. Onions. Cauliflower. Parsley. Please! Please! Green salad, Latru! Send them! We've we've recovered slightly. Dango, dango! We recovered slightly. Dude, we should never make green salads because they're so easy to make on the fly. Onions, cauliflower, cut parsley. Three! <laughs> Yeet the chicken strips. We need, uh, we don't need dango. We did- we did need dango! It's confirmed! Taking care of it, chef. He's done it? Okay, chicken strips, please. Sorry, this is even less focused, or like, even less commentary than I've ever been able to provide. Some dango, please. Just surviving today is good enough for me. Nope, that's the wrong meal. There you go. Okay, we're back. It's it's too many new foods that all require new stuff. But we're working on it. There's only two things today, so it's, it's very doable. Oh, crap, dude. Cantaloupe, tangerines, strawberries, kiwis. Got it. Cantaloupe, tangerines, strawberries, kiwis. You love to see it. 
Okay, what do we need? Not chicken, not dango, which means there's green salad, but we don't need to make green salad in advance, but we're doing it anyway. Batter, calamari, mussels, jalapeno, scallions, and shrimp. Dough, nut, roll shape. Grapes, cantaloupe, apples, tangerines. Majestic. Grapes, apples, strawberries, kiwis. Send them. Icing, send them. Oh, didn't mean to serve it. It worked though. DNRS, got it. Dango, GWP. Send them to GWP. Send them. You love to see it. Send them. You love to see it. Send them. Then, easy. Send them. We need some tabula. Quick. Tomatoes or tea. Garbanzo is G. Got it. Um, three. No! We need to make dango. Get it out there! The the fa I'm sorry. I, I I forgot to send them. I knew I was forgetting something. Turns out sending them can be pretty valuable. Um, get some chicken strips out there. We can still salvage today. You don't have to be a perfect business. You could just keep the lights on. Two customers remain, they both want chicken strips. Eat that into the trash, eat that into the trash. We're running lean now. Honestly, that wasn't that bad, considering I didn't know like half of the stuff we were making. The Hamul Pajon is really hard, the Taboola is really hard. That was only three bad orders though, I can actually live with that. That was, dude, we're almost level 5, too. In fact, I clicked too fast. We might have actually... No, we're not quite there. Dunk, dunk, dunk. We need a five-point menu. And it's all fried foods. I mean, fried foods are pretty easy. Like, churros are so simple. But we're not trying to make it as easy. Let's go, like, 0, 1. 2. Fried fries. Food truck fries. Zero, one, two, three. How do you feel about that? And then on the special orders, buta kimchi, crab legs, because they're easy. Tonkatsu is easy. We've already gone way over what we actually need in terms of difficulty. And to be honest, like the samosas were fun as well. Let's do it. Is there lore to this game? The lore to this game is you're a millennial. In a world where the cost of living has not kept pace with wage inflation, so you're trying to go out and hustle on your own so you don't have to work every day until you die. Two steak fries, one french fry, one curly fry. Dunk it. Two. That's a CL, and then that's a KMP kimchi, and then this is one potato samosa, and then this is a PD donk, and then this is a CL, and then this is a PULT, and then this is a CL, and then okay. Churros. Send them, please, and then send them, please, and then fried fish. We want four fish. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm very thankful we were able to get this done, like, in time. It's going to be a quick start here. Fish is coming. Fish is coming. It's almost done. I swear to you, it's almost done. SMR. There's ASMR. Okay. We need food truck french fries. French fries, shoestring. H. Waffle fries times two. Dunk them. Churros are not being made. ASMR. Churros are not being made. Fre French fries are being made. They're being made. They're being made. 34 remaining? Are you insane? What do we need? We need everything. So start with some churros, because those are easy while well, you get your head screwed on straight, and then you could also make some fish. No, 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 not this. Not this. Hold on. Fish, 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 fish. Good stuff. Good recovery, good recovery. Get that spaghetti out of there and make a fresh batch while you got a second. Fish is en route. Spaghetti's gonna be done in a second. In hindsight, I could have just served that one, but it happened real fast. Fish is coming out. We're gonna need another order of fish immediately after that, I think. Keep trying to hit B for fish. Would not recommend. Send them, please. Spaghetti's close. It's closing in, dude. Just relax. Spaghetti is closing in. We might even need one more order of spaghetti to go.
We have no churros on the go. Okay, eat this spaghetti, which we should not have done. I'm just realizing now we still had one order of spaghetti we could have given you. That's okay. The spaghetti's cooking. You're getting a fresh batch. Don't complain. It was just slight misoptimization there. Churros are almost done. That was a good day. That was a good day. French fries don't need to be here anymore. We're not serving them. Food truck French fries, please. French fries. That's an F. Shoestring. That's an H. Curly is a C. Wavy is a V. Dunk them. CL, please. KMP kimchi. Yum yum level 5. I can taste it. I can taste the ketchup and mayo mixing together. I can hear the heart beating as one. I'm hopeful that fish is going to be good to go once we, uh, once we get there. It is getting close, KMP Kimchi. Fish is almost bad. Come on, come on. We need some fish orders immediately. Fish. They wanted the fish. You love to see it. Fish, what do you want? What do you want? Four fishes? Easy. Easy. Four. ASMR. Send them. Four. ASMR. Send them. We got some stuff cooking. Just wait it out for a second. Just wait it out for a second. Please, uh, we need to get some spaghetti orders in ASAP. You'd love to see it. We're good. Send them. We need spaghetti in a big way. Get that spaghetti going. We need churros in a big way. Serve the fish. Make some churros. Serve some spaghetti so you get the place opened up. You got more spaghetti cooking right now. You need fish cooking right away. Good work. Good prioritization. Give it a second. The churros are going to clear out some work for you. Spaghetti's good to go. Then you just go down the line. Fish is almost done. Per perfect day. Perfect day. I was in the zone on that one. There was never a doubt in my mind, to be honest. Whoa! I think that's a perfect run. I think so too. I think so too. Delicious bonus times 0.29. Level five yum yums. You can now upgrade your truck. Add extra prep station. Yo, it's got a deck tree, dude. Whoa. Okay. Add extra holding station. It's got to be done. What else we got? Heat lamps. Food stays fresher longer in the... This is not the spe holding station. That's what it's called. Add extra prep station. Yo, but I don't really want to... That's spicy, dude. We only have two upgrades left. Let's say our food stays fresher longer. And I guess we might as well. We have to go down the line. Oh, but I... Did I even... Oh, I got it, but it can be further upgraded. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Start a new day, dude. Five. Oh, it's the exit. It's the boss battle. Yo, the music is is bumping. I didn't know there were real lyrics. It's like when you get to the track on My Bloody Valentine's Loveless, where you can actually make out some of the words that they're saying, and you're like, oh shit, I feel you. Okay, let's let's keep it easy for day one because we got some new stuff going, right? Falafel, fried fish, green salad are extremely easy. We do need to have a five-point menu. I'll throw some tabula in there, all right? And then... We're going to have at least three more points. Give me, give me some uh, lao laos, some onigiris. And then let's add one new food into the mix that we've never done before. Preferably something people could actually eat as an entree. <laughs> let's let's give him some pad thai, dude. Let's let's get spiced. I'll do the driving. 
is so good. All right, we have nine potential special orders now. So let's just start. Green salad is just Latru. We know that. Tabula, you got to pay attention to, okay? That was a faster one than I've ever done. Falafel, extremely easy. Fried fish, also extremely easy. Rishin, I remember. It's Rishin. It's like resin, but slightly different. So we should always have, I think, two couscouses ready to go. Because they're the hardest one to make. I will say the salad doesn't last very long, so let's just leave that space open for it right now. L-L-M-W. 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 We're leaving F1 open for garden salads, okay? Okay, this is new. Noodles, shrimp, broccoli, red peppers. Ready? We're nearly there. Now, this is where you get your combo going. Get ready. You got those, you got three green salads ready to go. Noodles, shrimp, broccoli, red peppers. Send them. Peanuts, chives, limes. You send them. Get some more of those ready to go. Now, what do you need? We definitely need falafels. We definitely need fish. Although, maybe we don't, now that I think about it. Because <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I knew you could do okay, here's check this out, alright? Um, Tabula is not going to make it. That's not going to make it to our next stop. The other Tabula, not going to make it to our next stop. The fish will make it. So let's wait until we're like 1.5 away. And hit him with the uh, tabula. Parsley. N U M. Hit him with another tabula, please. Parsley. T A G. And then we're going to keep F5 open for garden salads. Oh, <laughs> did you see the speed? Oh, baby. <laughs> we need some tabulas coming out here for sure. Hold on, we need some garden salads. Two remaining! Two remaining! <laughs> you love to see it. That being said, I am a little concerned. I don't know how long the next space is away from us. We have five stops today, so I'm just trying to keep it cool for now. Oh, it's so close. We need another Tabula ASAP. Um, couscous. NTG. Pad Thai is the tough one right now. Pad Thai is the tough one right now. Ready? We're nearly there. We need some fish immediately. Everything's gonna make it. The green salad's not gonna go bad. Because we just got the upgrade. Send it. You immediately need another set of green salads out there. Everybody knows it. Peanuts, chives, limes, cilantro. Good to go. Fish is good to go. Peanuts, chives, limes. Good to go. What do we need? Oh my god. We're gonna need more tabula soon, but we can we don't wanna wait too long. Okay, let's go for it. Bulgur wheat, cucumber, mint, garbanzo. Uh, we can eat the garden salads. We don't need them. We're gonna need more fish probably, so just keep that in your brain. Fish. Fish comes next. Fish comes next. F4. We're gonna be making some fish. And we're gonna need some falafel. So what we want to do, we, we did make a mistake. We want to serve one fish, then we're gonna make green salad in the fish spot. That's the good stuff. Seven needs to be made. Something's going wrong here. There you go. Peanuts, chives, limes, cilantro. Send it. We need fish to be made immediately. Dunk them, dude. We need green salads. We need green salads. Need some falafel. Okay. We need more green salads. There's an F2. <laughs> I'm 
Ooh. Go ahead and get that tabbouleh out of there. That's that's not gonna last. In fact, the green salad probably will not last either, so let's get that out of there. We want to make some tabula ASAP. Couscous, onions, tomatoes, garbanzos. Make make more falafel. Although it is easy. You gotta love this. Why is it Final Fantasy boss music? We don't need... Okay, green salads can be made now. Let's go. Fish needs to come out. Green salads still need to come out. Needs to be served. Peanuts, chives, limes. Got it. Falafel needs to be made. Tabula needs to be made. This is the tough one. Parsley, onions, cucumber, mint. Got it? At least it has no cook time. Twenty remain. We need fish. Close. We were close. Tabula, don't get distracted. Great work, team. Five fishes. Is this enough? Yes, it is. <laughs> You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. Wow, a perfect run. That's incredible. It's no big deal. It's just 283 perfect orders. Like, if that's supposed to be impressive or something, like, that's cool, but... I don't consider myself, like, an athlete, necessarily. Did we get another upgrade point there? Another T-spin, resident sleeper. <laughs> um, extra prep station? Come on now. Special systems analyzer? SO orders not yet made when arriving at a stop now have five seconds of additional patience. Extra holding station, cooking time regulator. Let's let's go deep on this one. Oh, we don't, we don't have enough because we have zero. <laughs> that makes sense. When are you joining 100 Thieves? If 100 Thieves would have me, I would join tomorrow. I just need to see what slice of the hoodie sales they get. The freshest. What does that mean? Seven foods required. That's it? It's easy. You know what? We've we've mastered Tabula. Get it up there. But, dude, these are foods I have not worked with too much. So we're going to take... Two familiar foods, because we already got some new stuff coming up here. I think we should take a tier two food. So let's throw some jambalaya in there. Oops. So I think we should keep it... Oh, dude, I love making the onigiri. That's perfect. And let's take like two more tier ones. But let's take one tier one we know, so tonkatsu, and let's take one tier one we don't know. Um, whatever the heck kir is. A rice pudding from India. So the real, the pivot points here are dosa and jambalaya. Go back and take the fall. It was, it was tier four, dude. That's so spicy. All right. I probably when we're on our last run, whenever that is, we'll we'll try to add a little extra spice into this one. But uh, for now, I'm honestly I feel in the zone. It's been a great week for games, dude, and it's been a it's been a while since I said that. And technically, it's not a great week for games for you because you can't even play this yet unless you're a big shot YouTuber or Twitch streamer like me. <laughs> but between this and Temtem, like. 
I've been so excited to actually play more uh, games. And I don't even have to scavenge the depths of Steam Labs every single day to try to find something for Northern Lion Tries. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know. I shouldn't leave number five open for Greek salads. Let's, let's put some more dozes on that because I think that's going to be a popular dish. Pudding, pistachios, flowers, cranberries, almonds. Ready? If those are always the same, we'll come up with a we'll come up with a an idiom. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm dude. PD donk. Okay, okay. The spice is started. What do you want? D and a T and an M. Okay. What? A, hold on. Send them out there. What do you want? You want a D, an O, and an M. No comment. But you're not coming to the right place for that one. You want a D, a T, and a B? No problem. That's a pulled pork. And then this is a D, an N, and a V. And we're free. Okay, so we need to get some more tabula out there. Bulgur. Onions. Cauliflower. Parsley. you love to see that. Get the fried chicken out there and replace it. Honestly, get another jambalaya ready to go. Shrimp is H. Peppers are R. Onions. Rice? I did it wrong. Scrap it. Try again. Jambalaya. Shrimp. Red peppers are P. I didn't really do it wrong. I just did it out of order and got myself confused. Go ahead and... No, don't eat anything. We're ready to go. We're ready to go here. PD donk. Send them. That's an 8-D-O-M. Spam in chat, please. Just kidding. <laughs> we need an 8-D-H-V. Send them, please. We need a D-N-K. That's a 6-P-U-L-T. We need a tabula coming ASAP. That's a couscous N-T-G. Everybody's good to go? Good to go. Okay. We need doses on the ready. Lost it, dude. Lost it. Strike to claim it. Strike to claim it. And he's lost it. Didn't have any fried chicken. We're making them all on the fly now. It's It, it hurts. That's all right. We, can, we can't really recover, but, you know, we can make it better in the future. You know, we can learn from these. Remember, a master has failed more times than the beginner has ever tried. What's coming next? We got another one real quick. Um, we don't really know what's coming our way. Tabula Jambalaya. It seems it seems like an easy one. Let's get some uh, let's get some more fried chicken in. We are Four things. So you don't always have cranberries for sure. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, make the jambalaya first. I got too excited. Now this is a bop. Tabula. Couscous. T-A-P. Got it, 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 got it. Give me some more doses. Ah, ah, serve six, serve six. Give me some, hey, <laughs> we did it, we did it. Give me some more doses. Give me those doses. I knew you could do it. Okay, those Amazing. doses in F2 are not going to make it. The fried chicken might not even make it. Fried chicken will probably make it. Okay, what's coming up next? What do we want? We got dosis, tabula. I think we got everything we need. We might need a little bit more dosa. I don't know. I'm taking a little bit of a lark on that one, to be honest. Things will become clear once we start getting some of these some of these sold. Always going to need some more fried chicken. Three. You want a D, N, B? Fried chicken's being cooked. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Seth, we need some jambalaya ASAP. Good check, good check. U, P, N, R. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. We need some more tabula stat. Okay. Um, B, N, A, P. Got it. Serve them. 
doses need to be out there. D H E D O D. I think I screwed one up there. I apologize. We we got it lost in the sauce a little bit for sure. It got hot. Maybe we did okay. I don't know. <laughs> we do seem to have a streak that maybe I just ruined. Actually, yeah, I think I ruined it by not hitting the space bar. But more stops. We were already. Our gold was already yeeted. I thought, but oh, if you have food in the holding station, it bounces back. So we almost lost it, but it was cooked like just in time. Something like that. Okay, we're getting close. We're gonna need uh, a lot of everything, particularly jambalaya. Ready for the next stop? Um, and we're gonna need some more fried chicken ASAP. We have no doses? Get the doses going first. The chicken's easy enough. It's getting a little hot. We need some more tabula. I noticed that. Couscous. Tomatoes, cauliflower, parsley. Got to get it out there. We need some more fried chicken in the fryer, please. Uh, okay. Give me a two. There's a D-H-V. P-U-L-T. Two. There's a D-N-M. Sorry, I served some other people when I should have served you, to be honest. There's a number five, please. Um, we're going to get a D-H-V on that one. Send them. Number four, we're going to get a D-M-V on that one. We need to make some more jambalaya ASAP. That's not jambalaya. We need to make some more jambalaya ASAP. It's going. Number five, please. Okay, we're making doses. We're making doses a la carte now. I apologize. I hit the wrong button on that. Ah, ah! Hit me with some jambalaya. Things are falling apart. It's getting hot. They're they're merciless, dude. They're 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 just they they refuse to wait for even a moment. Oh, they're mad too. Well, if you're mad, just leave. I don't want I don't want you leaving me a bad review just because you don't have any patience. No, 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 no. I mean, we're still going pretty fast. <laughs> we're still going like a, like an order every two seconds, but. That was just, that was way too hot at the end there. We got a bronze medal, dude. Dun, 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 dun. Well, we're gonna at least do the boss fight. Was that the boss Not fight? Bad. Not bad. Five bad orders out of 181. This is the worst I've ever done, but I could take it. We need to do the boss fight, then we'll move on to Temtem. -tem. But we're gonna, because we did so badly, now I don't feel bad about being like, yeah, give me chicken strips, give me fish, give me dango. <laughs> we do need to make a seven point menu. Um, why don't you throw a ballpark burger on there, whatever the heck that is. So that's four. Then these need to average one, which is not easy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go back. We're gonna cut chicken strips. We're gonna replace it with tandoori chicken to add one more point. Let's see what we got here. Breakfast sandwich is like a classic. Hold on, I think we've got this backwards. Breakfast sandwich is easy enough. Um. Jobche is a literal zero. We're at what? We're at literally seven. Okay. Let's add, uh, I'm not gonna min-max too much. Let's put some Palak Paneer on here. There you go. 
There's a few things I have never made. There's a few things I have never made, but Good to see you, chef. What is Palak? Spinach, I think. Okay, tandoori chicken. Chicken. Chili. Salt, turmeric, yogurt, ginger, possum mix. Refreshed. This is a GWP. Fried fish. Easiest thing in the world. Ballpark burgers. Eight meat patties. Okay, dang yum. Red pepper, spinach. Send them. What else do we need? What do we need a lot of? Nothing, really. I think you should leave this space open. Palak paneer. Spinach paste. Paneer. Heavy cream. Onions. Tomatoes. Turmeric. Got it. Breakfast sandwich. Ham. Egg. Croissant. Ready? We're near Muscle the memory's coming back. Give me some more burgers, just in case. Spinach! Ah! Heavy cream. Onions. Tomato. Chili powder. Turmeric. Sand it. Okay. Oh, no. It's, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, meat patty. Bacon. Two cheese. Tomatoes. Regular bun. Enjoy yourself. Meat patty. Regular bun. It's an Austin burger. Meat patty. Cheese. Regular bun. Got it? That's a nine. Meat patty. Bacon is B. Cheese. Tomatoes, regular bun. Gotta get some more. Get some more boil in there. Meat patty, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, regular bun. Eight. Meat patty, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, regular bun. Got it, got it, got it. Send them. That was the most delicious food I've seen. Were those FF4 burgers are not gonna make it. We're in the DRS zone. Every time I get job chay, I say to myself, we're in the DRS zone. It's an F1 joke. Uh, F3 fish, not gonna make it. Sausage, cheese, biscuit. Sausage, cheese, biscuit. Got it. Got it. F3. What else do we need? Tandoori chicken, please. Give me some K R S U Y G. Mix and toss. Thank you. DRS enabled. Ham, egg, biscuit. Ham, egg, biscuit. No croissant on that one. Got it, got it, got it. You know what? Oh, no, 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 no. My mistake. Hit me with the hit me with the dangos on this one. Dangos are quick to serve. DRS enabled. Breakfast sandwich boxed up. Come on, just let the burger live, please. Send me a burger. Seven, seven, give me a burger. Regular bun, got it. Send them. Now make more burgers. Uh, no, 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 we don't need to make more burgers yet. My mistake. Send them. Uh, that's a four GWP. Five. Uh, send them. Eight. N B L T R. Regular bun. Send them. That's a 9 GWP. It's a 7 GWP. It's 3 GWP. We gotta make some more tandoori chicken ASAP. K R S U Y G M. Didn't have time to look to see if that was right. Just assuming. Give me a 6. Uh, we're gonna want two meat patties and a regular bun. What's, what's wrong with the chicken? Just relax. The, oh, it's not good enough. The, the, the burgers have gotta go. Wh whatever. We're making this one a la carte. We're making this one a la carte. We have no dango on the go. Send it. What's dipping? Some sends are dipping. That's fine. That's fine. Burger, a la carte, brother. These are a la carte now. Regular bun. Five U P. One. M L T. N R. Got it. Two G W P. Okay. Get some burgs going. M B C C T R. Okay. Burgs. Tandoori chicken. K R S U Y G M. What's next? Fried fish, the easiest fish in the world. DRS enabled. F5. Um, honestly, I feel like we go through those there. dangos the fastest. Okay. Spinach, paneer, garlic, heavy cream, tomatoes, chili powder, turmeric. DRS enabled. Big sends. Big sends. WP. Send it. Four. It's a MMR. Nine. MBLTR. Got it. Okay, okay. What do we need? Solid. Tandoori chicken. DRS enabled. 
Dango looks good. I can't wait to try it. Just the sausage for me, please. <laughs> G C T H U S P G C N U. That's a tough one. That was a bespoke order. S P G C T H U. Got it. S P C. Somebody ordered it with no garlic, dude. It's finally happened. Two. Hit me with a six. DRS enabled. We gotta get seven handled. S P C N T U. Send them, please. Number nine burger. Send them. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. We need tandoori chicken. That's ASAP. Fish? Fish? No fish is being cooked. No, no, no. I got it. I got the order wrong. You should not complain. The cheese is on the bottom. That's just how we do it here. I think we might have failed that non-destructively. We need fish. That is not fish. We need fish. How you guys doing? One more day? Are you crazy? Do we need Dongo? No. I'm a fool. DRS. Hold on. We need we need to get some tandoori chicken going here. And we need some ballpark burgers. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Breakfast sandwiches. Ham, egg, croissant. Breakfast sandwich. Good stuff. Uh, number four. Breakfast sandwich. Ham, egg, biscuit. Job chain. DRS enabled. Number six. Breakfast sandwich. Ham, egg, croissant. Got it. S P C N T U. Okay. Bag it up. How about number eight here? S P C N T U. Number nine. S P C N T U U H. Let's go. Let's go. What did I I tried to serve him a dongo burger? I'm so sorry, I've screwed it up. I tried to serve that man a GWP burger, which is not a real thing. That is my mistake. It's all right. We can still we can still have a great day. Where are we at here? Fish. People want fish. The people want fish. The people want tandoori chicken. Saved. They are a little mad though. The people still want tandoori chicken. It's being made! On it, chef. More tandoori chicken is required. 30 remaining! You must have lost your mind. That's the only reasonable explanation. I think I screwed that one. I think I double typed something. We need Dango and stat. Tandoori chicken, please. It's being made. You'll love to see it. Burgers, please. Tandoori chicken's good to go, but we're gonna need a lot more. People love it. Little do they know I got the recipe off of food.com. Fish. We need fish. We need to make more dongo stat. I've saved it. I've saved it. I've saved it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a miracle. That was a miracle.
That could have gone worse. Really great work, Chef. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'd say it could have gone worse. One angry order out of over 220. Can't be too mad about that. Anyway, we're gonna run some ads and we're gonna play some uh, Temtem. But uh, this is Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. It's a lot of fun. It comes out in early access next Wednesday. Put it on your dang wish list and get ready to cook. You have been royally invited to compete at the Iron Cook Food Truck Challenge in Nashville, Tennessee. Fame and glory await. I got my smash invite. <laughs> I got my smash invite. Hold on, I don't think this rust bucket is ready for a 2,000 mile long road trip. Sure it is. I'll plot a route that takes us through some of the most food loving territories in the nation. That Let's give it a sec. Earn some money, upgrade the truck, and win the competition so Chef can get their restaurant back. That actually doesn't sound half bad. What do you say, Chef? The chef in the back is not a robot. I mean, That's me. Fine. I'm a human being. We're just being driven around by two robots. Choices are important. And as a sentient being, you do have the choice to say no, and then we could all go home. Cleaver. What? What? Yes, continue on the road trip of a lifetime. <laughs> Moab, Utah. All right. Hold on, we're gonna run some ads. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to load into Temtem as well. But suffice it to say, Cooks are Delicious 3, a lot of fun so far. Having a great time. Edit stream info. Tem, Tem. I'll see you in three minutes. Scoot. I'm on top of my freaking headphone cord. Let me load up Tem Tem. Let me load up Tem Tem. Get off the freaking headphone cord. There you go. Okay, now I'll be back in three minutes. Oh, let me close my door. I didn't even get in the queue because when you join, it says you have to accept the terms of service every time. Ah, the queue's not too bad. I'm happy to report, by the way, my newest TikTok, which is Daniel pointing out the existence of Grandma Nut, has surpassed Seth Rogen laughing in a mere fraction of the time. Not a high bar. You can choose to take everything as a loss or you can choose to take uh, little victories where they exist. I'm choosing to take little victories where they exist. Not everybody's built 
the same kind of optimism. Some people look for the negative in every situation. Some people look for the positive. What's the number going to be? Twelve eighty six. Twelve eighty six. I predict it's going to be 1286. I was pessimistic. 1144? Chat, just shut up. You're complaining about a queue that's literally like going to be less than five minutes long. If you have time to watch this show, you have time to wait five minutes to get into the game people are like this is the worst shit ever no if have you read a history textbook there's a few worse shits ever just just i rev other streamers will enable your ass hattery sometimes bro it's so bullshit i paid 40 bucks for this and i have to wait 16 seconds to get in I refuse. You got to hold yourself to a higher standard. Life is full of inconveniences, much, much grander than this. We're, we're literally like one to two ticks of the server again away from getting in here. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way, from JoroX1. Is it a memory address? This is just a built-in time to hit, hit your vape. <laughs> Absolutely true. This is the Yule period. By which I mean the Jewel period. NL, I just did groceries and your tier list has affected my life. Oh baby, while well, you are excited or should be excited because we have another tier list coming tomorrow. It's a tier list that was posted on the subreddit by Young Thug Vivo of literally 150 fruits and vegetables. Now, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know about 25 to 30 of them. I didn't know what 25 to 30 of them actually were. There were like eight different dragon fruits. Did you hear about the woman spreading uh, coronavirus into France? I did. I did hear about that. Wow, I'm beat. Let's sit here in the grass for a second. Did you come all the way from Zadar? You must be pretty exhausted. Not really. I'm waiting for the first dojo. You think we can do the first dojo today? All I know is, like, four days ago, I saw a post on the Vancouver subreddit that was like, uh, oh, I need to res my, my dudes. That was like, hey, uh, YVR is on high alert. Because there might be the spread of uh, virus into the country. And then, like, four days later, it's like, we're all gonna die. I don't know if that'll kill you, so I'm a little scared, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna try this. Poison damage coming in. Paharo! The virus takes two weeks before it starts showing symptoms. Oh, dude. Put Swally out here, he needs the XP. Ganky. Oh, what the heck is that, dude? Tenderness. 
Please lower this guy's attack. No, lower this guy's attack. He's way stronger. Even though he's about to die. Well, might not even last for one attack. Nimble. First dojo is level 20. Teteru is no... Teteru, you're too strong, dude. How did he do it? Is there like a speed attached to these? Like, could I attack you faster, maybe? Nope. Alright, goodbye, Swally. The symptoms are fever and dry cough. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm okay. No dry cough, no fever. Feel Feeling pretty okay, to be honest. Use Y to check priority. Oh, thank you. I'm a doctor and I diagnose you as not okay. Look out. <laughs> well, honestly, I haven't really left the house except to buy groceries in like a week and a half to two weeks. So if there was ever a time for a, a incredibly contagious virus to hit the Pacific Northwest, now is like definitely the time. Well done. Easy enough. One of the symptoms is b, -b, -b balding <laughs> Your character looks like Brad from Giant Bomb. Actually, my character looks like Bald from me. I do not wish to fight another Paharo. How are the servers today? They're actually working like we have not had any problems in the eight minutes we've been playing. Why do these people think Nintendo won't sue them into oblivion? I honestly... I'm not a lawyer. Maybe I can actually open this now. But... You can't... Uh, copyright an idea. So it's, it's legally distinct. Like, you can't copyright like a game mechanic. Please run away. Now, oh, I, perhaps I did not run away? Or did they just go faster? If I... If they made it and they were like... Is... Pocket monsters. They might run into a little bit of trouble. What the heck are you? Oh, he saw me! <laughs> I copyright moving up in games. Yeah, well, you know what you should copyright is playing good games and then playing them fast for once. Sorry, not sorry. Got him. Yo, don't kill my bird, please. I need him to get some experience. Thank you. Thank you. What's your priority on this? Oh, it's so fast. I do like Psypad. There's no doubt about that. No matter who you hit, they were dying, let's be honest. Who do we want to get XP? I want to see Swally grow into a beautiful butterfly. Pukey, get ready. There's a cutie. Confirmed, also cutie. Ah, well, I guess we won't be using tenderness on him. Real question, are there shinies? <laughs> 
He doesn't know. <laughs> There's no shinies. There's Lumas. Turnip forms. <laughs> exact turnip forms. Gamebot, while you're here, I had the most aggravating game of Forza uh, the other night. I had like a level 6. I got challenged by a dude who, have, who had a level 9. He beat me, but crashed and didn't hit the... Uh, the actual ending point. So when I beat him, I was like, yeah, I want his car. When it gave me his car, it put me in his position. His position was stuck on the rocks. So it literally could not move. But anytime I hit the reset button to reset my car's position, it reset me to be on top of the rocks. Because of the fact that that's where I started. With this car. Then one other dude just walked, well, not walked, but he drove up, challenged me, and then just drove away and kicked my ass because I literally could not move. Galaxy brain. Did he take your car? I don't know because I alt f Ford. <laughs> How did you see me? Top of the morning to you, fellow tamer? Excuse me. Relaxed guy? Is this Jack Septicai? You got one. Tem. You're screwed, brother. No, Paharo needs to live so that he can actually get experience, please. Send him. He's dead. Oh, he's level eight! Oh, jeez. Let's go. Even more. Let's go. <laughs> He's learned hypnosis. A brain hack developed by Arborean Mind Specialist that makes the targets easy asleep for two turns. Brain hack. Does this say work in progress? Work in progress content. <laughs> oh! You, let's fight now. Okay. Level 5 Gankies. I am unafraid. My Teteru is too strong for you. I don't know why I'm even rolling Teteru, because he seems like the most boring Tem out of all the Tems who have ever Temed. But he just happens to be my number one right now, so that's how we're going to roll, okay? I am i don't know what any of these guys evolve into yet, so... We're kind of, we're playing it cool for now. He might evolve into some kind of monster, you know? He also just lived with one HP. The one HP dream is real. I feel asleep. Okay, now, obviously you do a quick peck, but this guy, you swap him out and you put uh, Patrick Smazy in instead so you can get some extra experience. He's no longer asleep. He woke up, he did a wake up attack? What year is it? What game is this? Send him, Patrick.
Yo, heavy blow. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. So I am going to walk all the way back yet again. Because this is just what you do. Oh, no thank you. Name Thames. No. God gave them a name. So I don't have to. Name them all Tem. <laughs> Tem 1, Tem 2. Sw it's a shiny. It's not a shiny. Yo. Yo, we want that plant man though. Kaku. Heavy blow. Let's look at this. Effective and unsubtle, like a Tukmani mine drill. Okay. <laughs> Destroyed. Translator note. <laughs> Kaku means plant. Here's the thing. Get packed. And get scratched, and then we're gonna use our Tem card. Don't kill him. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeet. He's dying. He's got Mithridatism! Send him to the squad. Oh, they still took poison damage there. You know what we should call them? Baby Tem, Posh Tem, Ginger Tem, Scary Tem, Sporty Tem. <laughs> Baby, oh no. Baby, Ginger, Posh, Scary, Sporty. Okay, I want my starter to get levels, brother. And who do I want? Who else do I want up there? I mean, Tateru is crushing it. Don't get me wrong, but give me a, give me a two eye. Oh my God! It's a Luma Pahara. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> See ya. I did see a video of a man catching a shiny in this game and nearly breaking into tears. I'm still, I'm trying to be more positive in my life, but I am still not at the point where I can see that and not be like, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I really am. And if you're not pretending to be excited, then I apologize. If you're sincerely ex that excited, okay. But sometimes I'm like, you're pretending, and that's hilarious. What about when Thor brought the hammer down? Well, I didn't jump in my seat and go, let's go! It's dude, it's Stormbringer! I might have if I was watching it on stream, though, to be fair. Oh, you look like a Temtem -tem tamer. But how well do you actually know your Temtem? -tem? Of course I knew. Dummy. Water Temtem. -tem. What are they effective against? Fire Temtem. -tem. Duh. What about Fire Temtem? -tem? Against Nature Temtem. -tem. Duh. Anyway, enough theory. Get ready to rumble.
the heck is that that's going on out there? Piraniant. I'll take it. Water blade. I lived. Hit him with a martial strike, and then you swap out. Swaley's gonna soak. Swaley's getting out there to soak up some XP. Don't hit Smazy. I mean, don't hit Swally. It only did half damage. You're going down. What the heck is this? Urushiol's synergy with a toxic ally poisons the enemy for four turns. Okay, I do not. We do not have a toxic ally. Yeah, you do, Malf. Malf's not toxic. Maybe it does work. Oh, tail strike. I accept. You get the damage, but you don't get the poison. Okay, dully noted. Please do not say I so funny. <laughs> now you have to marry your mother-in-law. Trying to get out of the habit of saying that, okay? That's not helping. Hey, it's, it's an impossible maze. The maze cannot be solved. Looks like this is the end of Temtem. Go through the grass? You can do that? Oh, you genius! Oh! Hello, stranger. I'm Yoda, and this is my daughter, Agapi. I'm Egglord. Hi, Egglord. Mom, can we play now? Sure. It's like when you play two-headed giant against a dad and his eight-year-old son. You're like, am I supposed to go easy on them? Then you remember there's packs on the line. No mercy. Someone on the subreddit had the audacity to post a thread that said, Does anybody else think... Eggman might be an unawakened Magic the Gathering god. <laughs> I, I laughed and laughed. I have played a lot of Magic in my day, and I'm pretty sure my win rate is like... actually 35%. Send them. Is that good or bad? It's really bad in a game where two people play. Just play aggro? No, I found an even more winning strategy. Never playing magic again. Very good for your mental health, for your free time, for your finances. You'll be back. I will not be back. I feel no pull whatsoever. Let me go, please. Does Kate still play? No. You know why she stopped playing? She was like, A, it's a big time investment. B, it's expensive. And C, people are really rude. <laughs> Not everybody, but a, enough of a percentage of people are like rude and awkward that it's like, why am I spending my free time doing this? Is basically what it came down to. I think I think Magic is one of the most well-designed games of all time. 
I just think it also comes with the... Uh, as soon as you put, like, money on the line or nerd pride, it gets, like... It gets little... A little spicy for some people, for whatever reason. Please just let me go back. Yeah, actually, I love Magic Arena. I don't play it, but when I played some Magic last year, it was because of Arena. I was like, man, if I'm losing, I can just give up immediately without having to sit here for the next 55 minutes waiting for the next round to start, making awkward conversation with the person who beat me about how they beat me and where I screwed up. Please let me go. Too real. <laughs> Please. I mean, I don't have like a huge issue with the magic community at all. The only issue that I have, like the main thing, I could deal with everything else if Friday Night Magic didn't take four hours to play four rounds. If they could literally have the time I probably would have played for twice as long. But losing your whole Friday night to play Magic is like... is not on my to-do list anymore. They're not death sounds, they're fainting sounds. You evolving? Are you evolving? Not yet. Last night I lost to burn in 10 minutes. It happens, and then following that, the next step for you is to uh, sit there for 45 minutes while a control player finishes their round against a mill player and uh, sit there for one hour looking at your phone until they call time and they eventually draw due to turns. Sitting on a crampy folding chair. It's an evolved version, dude. Paharic. Big Paharo. <laughs> All right, let's demoralize him. Take out the child first. Honestly, the the best part of Friday Night Magic is the magic. The second best part is, I would say, one eighth of the Friday Night Magics I ever went to. I really felt the vibe in the air that there was a realistic chance that someone would flip a table or get into a fist fight over cards. It didn't happen every week, but every once in a while, you'd be like, oh, there's like some real tension in the air right now. That's a positive? Yeah, as long as you're not a part of it. It's a huge positive. Yo, Peck is so fast. It's like quick attack. Got him. All right, you got him. Big whoop. <laughs> that was some fight. Thanks. Am I close to a... A... A, a Pokemon... Sorry, a Temtem Hospital? Hey, what took you so long? Well, I was healing after every battle. Okay. There's a lot of story stuff, and like, we're, we're gonna battle and all that. Follow me, friends. 
This little shop is Louis, Veneer, Louis Souvenirs. It stocks all sorts of knickknacks for tourists. It's a good place to get your first Tem Essence vial. No apprentice should go without one. Indigo Lake, always so peaceful. Some days when the Solaro River is too crowded, I come here to surf a bit and train my water temtem. And this big building here is your academia. It's managed by associate teachers from my dojo. That's where I'm going, to the dojo. One day, Max, when you're ready. For now, all new apprentices come here to learn the basics. Once you're properly trained, you might join my dojo in Arisola. No buts, but. <laughs> and this way is the Temporium. This lady needs to learn how to delegate. She's the boss. She's showing us around firsthand. How much is your time worth to you? So this is our local Temporium. There's one of these in every major town. It's where we tamers come to heal our Temtem -tem and buy Temtem -tem stuff. <laughs> they have all you ever need and more, so it's always a good idea to pay them a visit, to pay them a visit as soon as you arrive in town. Mm. That way are the Thalassian cliffs up the road to Arasola. It can be dangerous, so never go that way without an adult. And the docks are that way. I could spend hours just sitting there, feeding the water, watching the pan sun turn the Solaro River into gold and fire and pastel pinks, and that's it. This is our little Brical del Mar. I hope you'll make lots of friends and enjoy your stay. Please let me go to the hospital. Peaceful fishing village. Hospital? Nope. Hospital! What song do you think is in your Q zone? I really think there's only one song in my Q zone, and it's Plush by Stone Temple Pilots. When the dogs do find her, got time and time to wait for tomorrow to find it. Oh, it's like being at a hostile kitchen. Academia. Let's go. Young Will. Welcome to the Academia. Shouldn't you be heading to your next class? Uh, yeah. Where is that? <laughs> Please take a seat. Who can recite all the elemental fire tem for me? Sorry, I have to do my quest. <laughs> my mistake. I have to acquire a vial of tem essence from Louis Vuitton. It's not there, is it? It must be a place with a sign in front of it. It's here. Yes. I would li uh, I would like a Temescence vial. Here it is! Yo! I'm happy to give it to you for free! What an idiot. <laughs> Bring me any Temtem from the Prezine Coast. Any apprentice worth the name should be able to. I have a Pajaro. Good catch. Very well. I think you certainly have what it takes to be a good tamer. It heals your whole squad. Replenish and heal tem machines. Let's go. Further your training at Sophie's Dojo. That's north of here, right? It is an Estes. Bro, you've been playing too much. If you have this creature already, you've been playing too much Tem Tem. That's just guaranteed. I did see yesterday, I looked at Steam reviews for this. And uh, one person had, it said they had 20.5 hours and they had 13.5 hours at the time that they wrote the review. And I was like, this shit came out yesterday, dude. That's. That is uh, an incredible amount of time investment within 36 hours. I am admirant of the uh, of the dedication. Could have been a streamer. <laughs> it could have been a streamer. Could have been a streamer. NL, what's your favorite Canadian rock band? I mean, it's probably Rush. Tataru. 
Destroyers, I mean, they're a band, but they're not really a band. But I would still take uh, Rush over Destroyer any day of the week. I, and I love Destroyer. Anytime I'm in East Vancouver, I'm always on the lookout for for tall guys with curly hair. I'm like, that could be Dan Behar, dude. Please, no more Tatarus. I desire real Thames. It could be Dan from Game Grumps. I don't know who that is. I'm not interested in Temtem fighting, thank you. I'm here for those sweet rock walls. I, I cannot climb them. Oh, let's go! A new Pokemon. A new Tem. Hit him with the card, Dad. I think you're gonna grab him. That was dumb. Should have waited for the kick. Well, I guess I will buy some more. <laughs> I need some more Tem cards. I gotta go back to the Temporium. Let me go! I'm killing these guys just for the XP. So many damn Tatarus, dude. Why did they copy Pokemon instead of making something original? I got two things to say to that. The first one is, there's like a billion games coming out every day. If you don't like what you're watching, many other options. The other one is, if they made something original uh, instead of this, probably like nobody will be talking about it. So there's a certain sense of irony there. That's the honest answer to your question that might have been bait to begin with, but... <laughs> I baited the streamer into giving an honest and insightful answer. I have realized, no matter what you, uh, no matter which way you interface with the genre of Pokemon games, Chad always gets a little weird about it. I, I'm not saying it's because the Pokemon community is weird. Rather, I think it's just because it, everybody has an opinion on Pokemon one way or the other. Weird how? Well, like... It's like they constantly come in and, like, want to debate. Like, you play Cook, Serve, Delicious, people are like, Oh, this looks good, or, oh, this doesn't really look like my cup of tea. You play this, it's people walk into chat and they're like, Can somebody please explain to me the merits of Temtem right now? It's just... My, my personal little philosophy, uh, philosophy about video games, you're not necessarily gonna love this, okay? But I think sometimes we forget that these are all toys. Like, every single one of these is a, is a toy. It's basically just like a really good action figure. You think this game's a game? Hold on. I forgot where to heal myself. Oh, nice surfboard. It's the big blue one. Top right. There you go. Why didn't you say so? 
that doesn't make it less mature than anything else. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is anytime somebody comes in and, and really, in my opinion, just asks like a bad faith question, uh, I just kind of remind myself I'm basically playing with like a plastic ninja turtle right now. Playing hockey is also just a toy. I agree. That's why I like when people have debates about sports. I'm like, this is fun. When people get like actually pissed off when they're like, all Nashville Predators fans are scumbags. I'm like, brother, you need to see a psychiatrist immediately. Do not wait. Okay, give me 10 Tem cards, please. I don't need medicine because I don't get hit. Further your training at Sophia's Dojo. What if I do? Tateru, can you just relax, dude? Haven't I slaughtered enough of you up to this point? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to announce that we will be playing Temtem. Until we catch a shiny, or 29 minutes from now, whatever happens first. Marathon stream incoming, maybe. I didn't know you could climb this, embarrassingly enough. Yes, face me. Ooh! Ambush! <laughs> NL, and I'm 19, and I'm going bald. Help. It's a question I've uh, answered a lot. It's not really a question, I suppose. There is no... There is no... Magic uh, phrase I could say to make it okay. You should probably just. I mean, honestly, a lot of bald guys are like, shave it off. You know, oh, if you, as soon as you're losing your hair, shave it off. I think, you know, to be a young adult and have a receding hairline, if you're. You got to evaluate it on a case by case basis. I think it can work for some guys for some time. But eventually, you're going to have to give yourself an honest look in the mirror and be like, you know, now I should shave it off. Yo, sand splatter? What is this? A fistful of humble sand that becomes a faceful of dirty fighting. Honestly, the, the real advice about balding is very simple. Nobody but you, like, really cares at all. Not true? I mean, I, I think it's definitely true. There, well, there is, to be fair, like that weirdo subset of the internet that's very concerned with, like, height and hairline. Um, but apart from those cursed communities, the average everyday person who doesn't spend every waking minute uh, on image boards doesn't really give a shit. They're just, like, doing, the, they're living their own life. You're just giving me free Pokemon at this point. Sorry, Thames. Have you ever worked a customer-facing job? No. I wouldn't know what that's like.
God, that felt good. <laughs> oh, there wasn't even a mean-spirited question. I just knew I had a, a sick response coming. I can't go bald, though. I have a lumpy head. Literally everybody says they, they have a lumpy head. Nobody... I've never talked to somebody going bald that is like, my head's normal. Some of y'all have to have normal heads. They can't all be lumpy. Or they're all lumpy and lumpy's normal. Look at my head's like... Look, when you put the headphones up like this, it's not a symmetrical head. Like, there's a little... This part's got a slight angle, then this part's like a steep angle. But everyone goes, oh, your bald head is so... It, you've got such a good head for baldness. I think uh, more people have a good head for baldness than they think. I have a literal bump. I got a bump on the back of my head, too. Every, I think everybody's got bumps on their head. I mean, not literally everybody, but many people. Feather gaddling. Even the softest feather becomes a sword if the hand is true. No! Come on. I wanted... I wanted to use it. I'm not like an innately motivating guy though. Like I'm not one of those guys that's like, you have to shave it off immediately. Don't even think about it for two seconds. Just do it. I'm just like, you know, I'm dumb. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, I'm like, what do you want me to say? I'm going bald. Okay. You should shave it off when it looks bad. I can't, I have a lumpy head. All right, well, what are you going to do? You're fucked. <laughs> if, you, if you believe that, you're, you're screwed. I'm guessing that the real answer to the question, or the real situation happening here, is that your head probably is not as fucked up as you think it is, and you're just overthinking it. Maybe your head's lumpy and you're going bald. What are you going to do? Reroll your jeans? Just just shave it off and and own it, dude. You got you got no other options. I went bald when I was 19, and every time I I walk on my toes, I was walking around on my freshman year of university like this. Oh hey everybody. Nice to meet you. I'm the I'm the bald freshman. I guess I was a, a sophomore. But still. Percentage of people that said anything was like... Like 0.5%. Let's go. Brought it back from the dead. I am not the swole ball dude at the gym. I would say, and at the new gym I go to, I'm like the average guy. There's one dude there, I had to stop, I was Myron. On Wednesday, he was, uh, he was working out. My man was like an actual Viking. He was like 6'5", with a big beard. I was like, holy crap. And, and like, insanely muscular. I was like, why don't I ever see people this muscular? out and about in Vancouver. And I was like, oh right, because if you want to get that yoked, you gotta no life monk mode it. That's not meant as disrespect. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice to get to that level. Okay, feather gaddling. We're doing it, dude. I honestly thought he was gonna pull out a strap. What do you think about people who have totally fine hair, but go, they shave their hair off? 
Literally, like, I do not care about anybody else's hair at all on planet Earth. Oh, sorry, 2 I. <laughs> oh, he's gone Super Saiyan. No, that's sorry, my mistake. Get Swaley out there. I'm telling you, he's gonna level up, dude. A cashier asked if my boyfriend was my brother today, so I'm having a good day. I mean. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but if you're approximately the same age... Where, what's the harm in that? That's, that seems like a fairly... ...normal interaction. He's eight years older? Yeah! It's only bad the other way around. Yeah, if you think if they think your brother is your husband. Valid point. That that's cringeworthy. They're both dudes though? Okay. I don't I don't see how that changes the interpretation of the of the event. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay. What so two dudes can't be brothers now? Why does my starter Tem suck so much? I would prefer if he was good. Yo! We reversed the got him and got a hype train. <laughs> Let's go. You chose the worst one? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances. Okay, the Teru, get the heck out of there, dude. This is Paharo's time to shine. Should have chosen the psychic one. It's OP. Um, yeah, OP. Officially. Psychic. <laughs> God damn. Game, po Game Pass got Plague Tale today, by the way. Yo, I've been meaning to check that out. I've also been meaning to check out... Uh, uh, Hellblade. And Game Pass has... Uh, Hellblade as well. Honestly, I'm like... Not a shill for Microsoft at all. Except C Sharp is amazing. And Visual Studio Code is the best code editor. Um, but apart from that... Like... The, uh, Game Pass is, like, the best value in the gaming industry right now. I got three months for a dollar. And for real, like, my, my whole shtick for, like, two weeks. Oh my god, dude. My whole shtick for like two weeks of Northern Lion tries was getting recommended stuff on Steam Labs and then immediately going to Game Pass and being like, is this free? And like 50% of the time it was.
Not to mention, I've been playing fourth sub, but anyway. The Xbox app is truly horrendous. You're not wrong about that one. It crashes all the time. That, the launcher and app itself is pretty bad. We're gonna catch this scale this time, dude. Dun, 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 dun. This one's gonna ice him. Told you. Here's what I think you do. I think you catch him with a kick and then snooze for a turn. I think you catch him with a kick and snooze for a turn. He's done. Welcome to the squad. You killed my Swayze. <laughs> when is David Cage coming out with another game? Um... Well, Detroit just came out on PC. Like, in December. So I imagine they were busy with that. I think usually there's like a four to five year gap between them. That's cool. Uh, you get sent to the Tem deck, by the way. Do you think his next game might make sense? I couldn't possibly predict that without knowing what's what he's gonna do it or what he's gonna do with it. What I will say is if I were David, I would think that I would change absolutely nothing about my formula. Just because snobs like me make fun of it and think that it's hilarious. Uh, there is a surprising amount of people out there that are like earnest when they play his games and are like, this is the like the deepest story I've ever experienced in my entire life. More power to him. I can still derive a lot of enjoyment out of the the Oh, out of the the David games in a different capacity. Are we doing something? <laughs> yeah, mouth, you should play Detroit. You would love it. That's not sarcastic. My voice is just kind of tired. Not as much damage as I would have liked. Dude, I think Malv, I'm being sincere. I'm not saying you would like Detroit, like like the story would affect you on an emotional level, but I think you would enjoy playing Detroit on your stream. Mostly I'm saying that because I and this is this is frank feedback that other people might disagree with. I would much rather see you riff on a game that's like pure choice and story based instead of something like God of War once it, once it's over. But that's, you know, I have I have different preferences than a lot of people when it comes to content as well. Really, I just want to see everyone I know play through Detroit. <laughs> just to see their reactions to what happens. Smazy just learned show off. Used in combination with a melee ally, it also bestows vigor for three turns. Honestly, Sand Splatter kind of sucked.
I don't want to get rid of Kick, because we need something to use on turn one. I don't... Tail Strike? Sweep the board in one fell swoop? Yeah, okay, we'll eat Tail Strike then. Get out of here. Take Show Off instead. Just wait, that's right! I forgot, we gotta wait seven more years until Dan's Detroit playthrough is no longer owned by that, uh... That TV company, so that we can actually see what he did. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, look, a peasant. <laughs> it's Narciss, Prince. He's got a starter. Show off. Attack plus. That's it. He's got two starters. Big whoop. Big whoop. Please tell me kick is fast. Pretty fast. Clean up duty. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, that's a good move. That'll work. <clears throat> Too wide damage itself due to overexertion. I know that, like, in all these games, uh, Psychic, like, always beats fighting. I always think that's exactly backwards. Why? I think Psychic should beat normal, because I think if you are a smart person and you went up to someone who's just average and you started to dazzle them with, like, some pseudoscience, they'd be like, I'll follow you anywhere. But I feel like if you went up to a fighting type person and started to hit them with that, they'd be like, I don't care about that nerd shit, and they would beat your ass. I'm asleep. Cool fists, I'll just push you over with my mind. Okay, I mean, you could apply that really to anything, can't you? Hey, cool poison. I'll block the poison with my mind. Hey, cool telekinetic waves. Unfortunately, I'm flexing so hard, they don't affect me. Now I'm gonna punch you to death. That's like <laughs> suggesting Wolverine could beat Magneto in a fight. Yo, but he could! If he just got so muscular that he could walk while Magneto was holding him in place and his healing factor would cause him to recover from his wounds before he suffered catastrophic blood loss. He would rip his bones out of his own body. Yeah, but, like, it doesn't matter, because he could just re-attach them with his healing factor. We found the next X-Men rider. Let's go, boys! That's me. You hear this cat going crazy out there? All he does is meow. His whole life is... Ruka meows all day until we feed him. We feed him. He meows some more. Then at night, he tries to sleep on my skull. So I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a meow, 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 and a meow, meow, meow. That's, that's a blast from the past. 
Did you have a moment of silence for Mr. Peanut? I acknowledge the attempts of no brands. Brands have to... They have to work a lot harder than killing off their beloved mascots to get me to... to care, to be honest. Silence. Hey, wrenches, you can't say silence, Brand. <laughs> no, don't say silence, wrench, either. Umishi's shared pain. I will say wrenches. I'm not upset, but this is what I use as my, uh, this is my sounding board, right? Why is it that every time there's a League of Legends Twitch Rivals, uh, I get an email telling me to watch it! Go watch it right now! BoxBox Box is playing in a Twitch Rivals event right now! When I was in a Twitch Rivals event for Uno, I didn't get any emails. Where was the email that said, you know, eight streamers you love are about to play Twitch Rivals. That's because you were in it? With all due respect to Twitch, there is absolutely no way that is coded in their, like, MailChimp setup. It's not that they couldn't do it, I just don't believe that they've done it. Damn essence vile. Great question. I may ask on that. Thank you. That's one of the most polite no's I've ever heard. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I deserve. <laughs> I've gotten corporate nose before in my life. I'm no stranger to it. I don't I don't mind uh, I don't mind getting a no. That's all right. Calabis. I did fill out a survey for Twitch though. Um, I got a it was said you've been randomly selected to participate in a Twitch survey and then it asked me do you organize esports events and competitions between you and your friends? And I said, yes. And then I said, how often? And I said, three to four times per year. And then it said, if we built some tools on Twitch for you to organize events, would you use them? And how likely would you be to use them? And I said, uh, a little likely, and then, then they said, why only a little likely? And I said, because it seems like a lot of work. And then they said, thank you for your feedback. And that's that was how I filled out that survey. I fill out all surveys honestly, which is why I no longer fill out surveys for YouTube, because they lie to you and say, we care what you think. So I filled out about a hundred of those, and uh, nothing anybody said was ever taken under advisement. So I just stopped filling them out. Way to go, Ukama. You just got killed by Swaley. I was about to say I don't think Twitch cares either. Look, I call it like I see it. Twitch has been way more... It, it's been a way more creator-focused platform than YouTube for, like, five years. Just because, you know, the, I know all the drama surrounding Twitch. If you only read live stream fails, you would think it's like a trash fire at all times. It's like, almost always I have quite literally nothing to complain about. 
at, at any given moment. Oh, but they timed this, this streamer got a 7 day ban, this streamer got a 24 hour ban. I have no opinion. I don't know these people. That's not, that's not in my domain. I choose not to care about it. I have, I have had almost exclusively good and up interactions with Twitch. I'm not gonna say everybody has, but, but I have. I still kind of like YouTube to begin with, but you know, I always contrast. I mean, Sinvicta and I were talking about it in GeoGuessr this week, where I was like, on YouTube, you know, I have a contact. Uh, please let me out. I have a contact at YouTube, and it, the turnover is like literally, I get an email like every five months that's like, hey, David is no longer with us, with the company. But, uh,. Hopefully still alive and healthy. Um, but I'm Tim. I'm your new account manager. So anytime you have any problems, don't hesitate to reach out. And I'm like, okay, Tim, nice to meet you. Then in May, you know, I had that false copyright strike from the Entertainment One movie distribution company. And I said, hey, Tim, I need your help. And then six business hours later, he got back to me and said, you want me to do something about this? And I said, yeah, that would be nice. Um, and then we got it sorted out independent of my YouTube contact uh, by going around the platform to speak to the movie distribution company themselves. So names have been changed to protect the involved. Let's go, Tim. No, that's not a... I think you need to repeat this. Just have the story repeated. <laughs> anyway. Let me go see if Kate is ready to, to do our co-op stream here. So I will be going over to twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. But first, she will be doing a bounty to check out an extension where chat interacts with the streamer. Like, I think chat can like use their channel points to buy armies or something. We'll find out together. <laughs> and then, in uh, approximately 30 minutes, we'll be playing some Cook, Serve, Delicious co-op to get the Any% percent co-op speedrun challenge. Thanks for the support today. Thanks for watching. Had a lot of fun, and I'll see you over there. See ya!